a goatee. You know him, the iconic Genesis sounding fast rapping screen demon we faced off with to escape the void. But how well do we really know them? Here's 10 things about a goatee. All right, before we get into it, check out how many people watch my videos without subscribing. It's crazy, but you're not one of those people, right? Right? Versus a goatee is one of the most well-known and frequently suggested mods we've covered in the series. The mod was developed by the Innuendo on music, Bright Fire on coding, Sugar Ratio on art, and Kulix on charting. Before working on a goatee, Sugar Ratio had done the art for Zardy and Ruv reanimated, as well as a few personal projects behind the scenes. The entire team met to collaborate on this project and are still working together to this day. Though teased in a few other mods, the condition of a goatee's birth are up in the air right now. The goatee was born from a box of burning VHS tapes, and after the fire had died down in the plastic had melted it formed a goatee, who was discovered and adopted by his now employer, Solazar. When a goatee was born, or I guess created rather, he didn't have naturally occurring vocal cords. As a child, a goatee mistook a Sega Genesis for food and ate the console. Since his body is already inorganic, the Genesis sound chip fused together with his VHS tape form, creating a voice that sounds like the bass from the Genesis sound font. Within the cutscenes of Versus a Goatee are two references to popular anime. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure is briefly referenced in a pose a goatee does after twirling his Mike, and Full Metal Alchemist is referenced when a goatee summons the pillars, similar to how Edward Elric performs alchemy in their respective series. Similar to Tabby, a goatee has the ability to hit his notes like boyfriend instead of disappearing on their own. This doesn't mean that they are girlfriend's ex-boyfriend, instead this was added by programmer Brightfire just because. Artist Sugar Ratio tweeted some interesting potential lore, stating that Solazar probably gave a goatee this power and now manifests itself as the ability to alter his surroundings. Because versus a goatee is built in the mic'd up engine, there are lo-fi and high Hi-Fi versions of each song in the game's files. Though inaccessible through the game itself, even debug, the player isn't missing out on too much since they aren't entire unused remixes, but instead slowed down and sped up versions respectively. A goatee was trapped in the void for only one year, but tells girlfriend and boyfriend he's been there for years, plural. This can be explained by the fact that the void doesn't have the same night and day cycle as Earth, and a goatee probably just lost track of time due to loneliness, as he is the only one there. In an interview with Captain Jack Attack, the versus a goatee developer stated that the mod was relatively easy to make, as the music for the week was already done before the team had even met. Sugar Ratio quickly produced the art and animations, and Brightfire basically had everything they needed to code right away with Gate Engine, before being ported over into Verwix's mic'd up engine. The project originally had a different charter, but were replaced by Kulix, who got the job done quicker. Full production only took about three weeks, most of which were just polishing what they had while dropping teasers. Gody has been compared to similar mod characters Witty and Tabby based on the design of their characters and the pacing of the mod. The developers are well aware of this, and according to this tweet by Artist Sugar Ratio, the team is definitely going to try something else moving forward. Originally, there was going to be a secondary mod for a goatee, known as Episode 2 colloquially, that would have had Boyfriend face off with Solazar, as it was teased at the end of the OG mod, but due to, you know, the thing, the mod has been put on hold. A fan-made mod does exist, however, putting together the pieces of teased art and music. If you're craving some official a goatee world building, a mod by versus tabby musician Tenzubushi was created called Entity Origins Breakout for the Funk and Forward Jam, which takes place 19 years before a goatee. And that's 10 things about a goatee. I hope you enjoyed. I know it's a bit of an elephant in the room when it comes to a goatee, so hopefully I presented this not only respectfully, but efficiently too. But there's only one way to know, and that's for you to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Alright, thanks for watching. Until next time.